I no longer have space for the bottom half of the internet. I have autism and chronic mental illness, and my ability to process that much information is insufficient. I don't just mean the negative comments, even the positive comments can be too much, and so I need to place a boundary. After taking a break from posting my art, I found the biggest thing I did not miss was going through comments. The chase of engagement. Direct engagement is a requirement for ad revenue, not creative impact. I do, however, love discussion and hearing from people about my art and my teaching and the stuff that I do, especially about what I'm doing right so I can do more of that. I also like providing a safe space for validation and expression and art. So I have a discord. It's called the Buddy Brigade. No arguing is allowed. Not only do we have an open chat room, but we also have forums that we use as community blogs. I have one called Morning Cup of Helpish where I post my mostly daily writings. Only I can post, but people can comment. We also have a slowly growing number of blogs by other community members, and we have two community blogs where anyone can post and comment. I have a community for autistic people, and I have one for anyone. So if you want to engage with me and our community, that's the place to do it. Look, it's possible that I'll change my mind on comments. If I do, it will be to let them exist, but I'm not going to engage with them anymore. This is a boundary I have to set for myself. If you love or hate something that I create, it's none of my business. But I still think you should express it, not through comments, but through art or some creative expression. Uh, make some art about why you hate me or why you love me. Do that. When we don't express our feelings, they become secrets, and secrets make us sick. I hope you have a badass day, and I love you.